Hey guys, this is Parney from Dash Car Productions, and today we're going to do a little bit of a different video. I'm going to be talking about my Google Home actually. So the reason why I want to talk about it is that my home has a lot of smart devices that are connected to the Google Home Mini. And just a couple of days ago, I was in bed and I told Google to turn off the lights and it didn't work. I thought it was just some sort of glitch, so I thought I'd unplug it, plug it back in, and hopefully it would just restart itself, but it never did. What ended up happening were these four white dots would just stay and never change. Um, after four or five minutes, I realized something's wrong. So I did some research online and I discovered a lot of people have this similar issue where the Google Home will just light up and the four dots will just stay and it will never change. And it turns out the Google Home just bricked. Uh, there's actually not a lot of information why. People think it was after a update that Google sent through that bricked a lot of the devices. And unfortunately, mine was bricked. Now, I brought mine in November 2017, so it's well past the uh, one year warranty. So when I read online, a lot of people said, Google will replace it as long as it's under the warranty. And I was like, shoot, I guess I have to buy another one for like $90. They're pretty expensive, uh, considering that I bought mine in Christmas time. It was just 40 bucks. So big price difference. But I thought I'd just give it a try. Let's see what they have to say. I have nothing to lose. Now, the way it works right now to get support through Google, you have to find their website, a specific website uh, or a specific link. And it's really convoluted and hard to get at. It took me five, six minutes to try to find it. So you can't call them right now, um, but you can open up a chat with them. And once I got to that chat, it was actually really quick within a couple seconds I'll get a response so it's just like IMing so I gave them some information told them what was wrong they said uh, try the reset uh, button on the back of the mini just hold it and see if it does anything um, in my case what happened was I hold it one of the lights on the far left side will turn green and the other three lights will stay white so I thought it was doing something and you're supposed to hold it for 15 seconds but nothing happened and then they told me to unplug it and plug it eight times in a row. But when you unplug it, let it sit unplugged for about 10 seconds. So I did that. And then when I reported back to them, um, they said, we will look into it. And then a few minutes later, they said they would actually replace the device. So um, I was pretty thrilled about it. Now, they did say we need the original receipt. And I did buy the Google Mini um, through the Google Play Store. So all my ordering information was there since the last two years. So I was e very easily able to screenshot it. And then they wanted to take, uh, one, they wanted me to send some pictures uh, of the serial number in the back of here, which is really, really hard to read. So you got to take like two, three pictures. They want your just a shipping address. Um, so in the end, I, I recommend you guys go ahead and, and contact Google if you're having a similar issue. Um, it's worth a shot. Um, worst case scenario, they're going to say no, and you just grab another from the store, or you wait until it goes on sale. But as I was filming this video, my Google Mini just started randomly working. So it's, it's very odd. Uh, I haven't used it for three, four days, and I thought I'd just plug it in and show you guys um, how it looks like, and it just ended up working. So it, it worked on the end. Um, who knows why? Maybe Google pushed another update that addresses the issue. I'm glad it just started working, but for the for everyone else that has this issue and this didn't magically work somehow, uh, do go ahead and, and contact them before you go buy them. And I'll post a link in the description below so you don't have to waste 10 minutes trying to find that specific chat. I know a lot of people have this issue, you know, people going back and forth with it's covered, it's not covered, but um, so it looks like Google is covering it, which is, which is good, which is great. Um, and then the money, that, the $80 can go towards modifying my car, which is, at the end of the day, what's it? that's what it's about, right? So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please hit that like button and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.